Hello and welcome. My name is Elizabeth and I'm a librarian at the San Jose Public Library. Today we're going to be doing an engineering challenge. Now we're going to be building something and when you think about building you might think of building with blocks or Lego and when you think about the buildings that are all around us you might think of building with things like bricks, wood, steel, and concrete. But today we're going to be building with paper. Now paper, flat like this, all on its own, isn't much of a building material. In fact, if you try and make it stand up, it's just gonna fall right back down again. But paper has a secret. If we give it a shape, it will get a lot stronger. So what are you gonna need for the activity today? Well, you'll need some sort of paper. This can be any shape, any size, and any color. Today I'm working with some plain office paper that happens to be colored, some construction paper, and also some of those free supermarket flyers you get in the mail. You'll also need some tape. I've got scotch tape, masking tape, and duct tape. Anyone will do. And some scissors to cut the paper with. Now, because we're going to be trying to build something that is both tall and strong, we're going to need a ruler to measure just how tall we can make our building and a weight to put on top to see if it stands up to the pressure. So, what did I mean about paper taking a shape? Well, if you look at cardboard, it'll give you a clue. Now, cardboard has a flat layer on the top and bottom, but in the middle, there's a third layer. And that third layer is a zigzag layer. And that makes cardboard much stronger than paper. So let's see if we can fold up our paper and make it a little stronger. I'm just gonna do some simple folds here, folding it this way and this way, and then flipping it one more time to give it a third fold. Now, we've got our zigzag, so the question is, will it stand up? It sure will. Let's see what other sorts of shapes we can make besides a zigzag with our paper. Well, for a starters, you could make a triangular shape. Now, this triangle I made by making two folds, and then taping the edges together. And sure enough, it stands up very well. I also tried out a square. And this one, again, I had three folds and then taped it shut. Both of these stand up really well, but when you start to put weight on them, they crumple almost immediately. So how do you get that strength? Well, going back to cardboard again, there were three layers, top, bottom, and the zigzag layer in between. So let's add some more layers. Now one of the easiest ways to add layers is a circle shape. So it's very easy to roll up a piece of paper in order to make multiple layers there along the edge and also to give it a shape. So I'm just going to take one of my pieces of paper here and I'm going to roll it up. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my tape to tape it so that it doesn't unroll again. So if I take my tube, my circular tube, and I stand it up and I put my hand on top of it, you'll see it doesn't crumple at all, even when I press down, but it's still a little wobbly. So let's take these tubes and build something with them. Now, one of the simplest things you can do is to take the tubes and just bunch them up like a bunch of grapes. I took some supermarket flyers, rolled them up, and put a big piece of tape on the outside. So now I can stand it up and I can even put a weight on it. But you'll see it's still kind of wobbly. So it has a very narrow, small base. Let's widen out that base and see if that helps us. I made a pyramid. So I went back to those triangles that were helping us earlier and I made a triangular pyramid. I have three standing legs and then because I put a weight on top of my standing legs and they splatted out, I added some braces to reinforce them along the bottom. Just some more rolls. And now of course my structure is very stable so I can knock it all around and it doesn't fall over. And it holds weight very well. My buildings are very simple. In fact, they're not even one foot tall. 
So I wanna challenge you guys and see what you can build out of just paper and tape. How tall can you make it? How much weight will it hold? I'll be interested to see what you guys come up with. If you're interested in learning more about engineering and other topics, I'm going to include some resources down below in the description where you can go onto the San Jose Public Library's website and see some resources to help kids learn about engineering, building, and all sorts of other topics. Thanks very much and have a great day.